Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, I'll be discussing about the Snowball String program in Java. So we will be writing a program in Java that will check whether a given string is a snowball string or not. So what is a snowball string? So before that, let's first of all create a file so we are creating a file in our home folder and uh, this is a java file with the name snowball.java so we can add some comments and write down the details about the snowball string so a snowball string is a sentence where each word is arranged in ascending order of their length and is also consecutive. So consecutive means the length of the next word will always be one greater than the length of the previous word. For example, I am the Lord. This is a snowball string because if you look at the first word, the length is one. Second word, the length is two. Third word, the length is 3 and the fourth word the length is 4. Take another example he may give bonus so according to the sample question given by ISC we are going to check for sentence validity and the rule is that the sentence must terminate with a full stop or a question mark so exclamation mark is not included so the sentence must end with a full stop or a question mark. So let's write down the program now. And we will also use another class from the util package only which is the string tokenizer class. String tokenizer class will allow us to extract the individual words easily from the string. Now we can create our class, class snowball. Then the main function, we create the scanner object. And now we ask for the string from the user. So we give a message. And uh, one more thing that we can do is we can call the trim function also here to make sure there are no extra blank spaces or white spaces at either ends of the string. We also take a boolean variable result and initialize it as true. So here again we are making an assumption that the given string is a snowball string but later if we find out that our assumption is wrong we are going to change this boolean variable to 
false. Okay. Now, we have to check the last character, the terminating character. Is it a full stop or a question mark or is it something else? So, we will write char ch equals s dot carat s dot length minus one. So, this is how we can extract the last character from the string. And now we can check it whether it is a full stop or a question mark and if not we can print a suitable error message and exit the program. Uh, we will use the if condition. So if ch is not equal to full stop and ch is also not equal to question mark none of these two then we can print incorrect terminating character and invalid input And after printing this message, we can call the return keyword. So because we are in the main function, calling return will allow us to exit from main. And as a result, the program will automatically terminate. And if we have a valid string, if we have a valid sentence, then we will skip the body of this if condition. And we will come further and we will create string tokenizer object. New string tokenizer. We pass the string as the first parameter. And the second parameter will be a list of delimiters that we want to consider. So I want to consider blank spaces. I want to consider question marks, exclamation, full stop, comma, semicolon colon so all these characters i'm going to consider as delimiters i also need a counter variable which will keep track of whether the words have consecutive length or not so initially it is zero but later we will set it to the length of the first word so now that we have the string tokenizer object st, we can write a loop using the count tokens function. So what count tokens will do is it will count the total number of tokens based on these delimiters in the given string s. So we know exactly how many times we need to extract or how many words are there in the string depending on these delimiters. And we can extract individual words now using the next token function of string tokenizer class so we will write st dot next token each time next token is going to give us a new word from the string now if i is equal to one that means the word that we have just extracted it is the first word when i is one so in that case I will set count to the length of that first word. So word dot length. So using this code, I am setting the size of count as the length of the first word. And from here, 
every new word should increase in length by one. Okay, so it should be equal to the count. So if count is not equal to word dot length, that means it's not a snowball string. So I can set result to false and I can call the break keyword to exit from the loop. And then after extracting every word, checking its length, comparing it with count, I increase the count by one because it's a snowball string. That means so every new word will have a size one greater than the previous word. So that's why count keeps increasing and each time we make sure that uh, count should be equal to the length of the current word. Now outside this loop, if result, if the value is true, I can print it is a snowball string. else it is not a snowball string so our program is complete and now we can check the result So it is asking for the sentence. So you can see it's printing that yes, it is a snowball string. The second example is also a snowball string. This is not a snowball string. Look before you leap. And this string has an invalid dominating character, incorrect dominating character. That's why it's printing an error message because it is ending with an exclamation mark. And we considered only question mark and full stop as the terminating character. Uh, we have given the condition here. So that's all in this video. I hope you have understood how to write a Java program to check for a snowball string. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class.